Hello, everyone. This is the uh, the voice of Grandmaster Pascal Charbonneau. It's a pleasure to have here with us Jeffrey Xiong, who is going to play a couple of games of Banter Blitz uh, before the FIDE Online Steinitz Memorial. Uh, Jeffrey, welcome and good luck. Have fun. All right. Thank you. So we can begin? Yep. You can accept challenges. And, and once you start playing, I'm probably going to mute myself until uh, until we go through a few questions after you play. Okay, great. Um... Yes, yeah, so I'll take the first one. Um, okay, I have way, let's see. Okay, I think... Uh, he he challenged me right before I was online, so he might be away. Yes, uh, we can wait. Uh, no, okay. Okay, so. So far, I've gotten this uh, a few times already in previous games. Probably queen d7 now. And okay, knight c3 is fine. Okay, I'll try queen f3. Queen h3 is a big threat. e5 is good. Um, maybe knight h5. Knight a6 probably. And I guess I'll just play knight g3 here. Not too great for me, but it's playable. So he has to deal with knight f5. I'm not sure. If he goes g6, I might be able to open the long diagonal. Please queen g4, so if I go knight f5, takes rook a8, I guess. Um, so I could take on e7 and knight e4. I could also just double rooks here. I think I'll just double for now. So now... If I take, he wants knight c8. Um, let's see. Yeah, probably I had should have taken earlier. Okay, I'll try a4. Knight e6. But now I think I can try this. So knight e7, knight e4. This is kind of what I wanted. Okay, takes. But now he has to go. Okay, but this can take another pawn. Six, e4. And just up two pawns here.
try to simplify this. All right. Um, so I guess uh, I can go back to the challenges. Um, I will keep taking, okay, I think um, OT13 was next. Four. Let's play the rat. Not sure what's best for white, but everything is pretty decent, I, I would say. Um, I think my idea is just to try to go bishop g7 and c5, try to break open the center. Um, I think c5 here makes sense. C6, 92, I assume. Um, I guess I'll just castle. Castle's probably, should G4, does it do much? Knight A5 also, I could try, yeah. Probably Knight A5. Knight A5. If he goes bishop b5, not sure. Maybe a6 or queen b6. Okay, bishop b3. It's not easy for me here with this bad bishop on g7. Maybe, okay, I think I should exchange. Now, how do, how do I play this? Could try bishop. Mm. Yeah, this is not easy. Maybe b6 or queen c7. Okay, b6. Somehow I need to play bishop b7, queen c7, king h8, and f5 somehow. But I'm not sure if I'll be in time. Okay, this. Try the space six here. Now I can play bishop d3, which looks reasonable. Okay, c4. Now this is looking better. I can take on f3. Maybe f6 next. f6 takes, takes. Yeah, f6 should be good. He takes on f6, I take, and queen e3. Okay, this. If I take, 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 it's not so clear. g5 takes, takes, takes. Rook f7. Okay, I'm getting a bit low on time now. I'll just play simple here. Uh, 
Okay, this is a blender. So I take Still not so trivial though. Maybe I'll throw in a couple of checks. Bishop H6. Ah, he just resigns. Okay, a bit premature, but I'll take it. Um, let's see who's next. Um, okay, Liv Tyler. Um, okay, I'll try play B4 again. Okay, I'll try rook g1, main idea in this line for me. Knight e4, and I just want to push g5, h5, and hopefully something will happen. Take six. Okay, so it gives me g7. A5, try to put the knight on B5, place here, okay, knight B5 anyway. Bishop on B4 is a bit annoying because I'll, I'll have to go C3 at some point. Okay, this move looks a little weird. Go knight B4. Should be seven, I assume. And then maybe I'll try h5. Ah, okay. So, yeah, maybe just h5 anyway. Okay, so now I can take, takes. Knight c4, I think I have to take, okay, I could play c3 also, which is interesting. If I take on c4, dc, bishop f6 has to be good for me. Um, but actually, it's not so clear. C3 takes, takes. Okay, if takes, takes, C3, bishop e7. It's good, but it's not so clean, I think. Okay, I'll try C3. That thought a bit too long on that move. Takes, takes. D4 might be playable here. Thought I had bishop g2, but it's not that clear. Yeah, actually, d4 could be annoying. Yeah, I've made a mess out of this one. Bishop g2. I think I have to try it and hope that it works. So queen, oh, knight d3, king f1. If he goes queen b5, I think I can take the rook. Am I missing something? Let's see. Takes on a8, knight b2, queen e2 is fine. Knight f2, king f2 is fine. Knight f4, d3. I think I can take d3. I've got queen a4 if I, worst case. Yeah, I don't see it. I think I'm going to take.
Not a four D three. Should be fine. Okay, knight d3, so queen a4 should be simplest. I've also bishop c6. Okay, time is the biggest issue now. So I need to speed it up. Okay, just take. Okay. All right. Um, so do I continue now or? All right. All right. So Pascal, I am back here to ask you a couple of questions ahead of the uh, Fide Steinis Memorial here. Um, first of all, how, you know, how do you feel about playing online versus in person? Is this something that is going to happen, I guess, a little bit more in this crisis? So how do you feel, uh, how do you feel playing online versus in person in general? Uh, yeah, well, in general, I would say that, um, I grew up, um, playing chess online. So I started, um, I remember when I was just beginning, I was always playing online. So for me, online is, uh, kind of, uh, I feel at home playing. Um, and yeah, obviously in crisis like now, all events have to be organized uh, online. So it should be considered the norm now. And uh, tell us a little bit about your life now. You're you're Texas Bear. You're, you're still in Texas. You're in Dallas, I think? Yes, correct. And so how, uh, how, how have things been for you in this, uh, in the pandemic? And, you know, uh, are you able to maintain a reasonable routine? Uh, yeah, I, okay, I don't go out too much, um, but it's still, uh, I would say I live in the suburbs, so it's more or less uh, fine compared to, to other places. You can still go out and take a walk and there will be no problems. Um, and otherwise, yeah, as a chess player, generally I would be staying at home anyway, so not too much has changed for me, I would say. For for you, maybe it was a little bit like the, t the timing of this must have been a little bit disappointing. Like you, you, you've been on such a good run and, um, you know, you haven't been able to kind of showcase your, your talents as much, um, with this, have you been, uh, have you been training hard, you know, to kind of maintain and hopefully, uh, keep going on your, on your run, uh, when things uh, recover a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's very important to, uh, stay focused even at this time because eventually, um, things will settle down and get back to normal. And once that happens, uh, you have to be ready to go. Um, have you have you played most of the players in the uh, Steinitz Memorial? I know you you know you're a little bit new to the uh, to the circuit with uh, having you know your rating uh, jumped to over twenty seven hundred feet day now. Um, are you familiar with all of your opponents in this uh, in this event? Yeah, obviously everyone's very strong. I I know them all reasonably well, um, but I haven't quite played all of them. I think there might be. Um, around half I haven't played yet, so it'll be exciting to to face some new players. As a as a Canadian, I got to ask you. Uh, on our website, it shows that you have a Canadian flag, which I think I think means that you probably created the account when you were in Canada. Were you did you visit Canada uh, recently or? Uh, no, I. Uh, wait, do I have a Canadian flag? I I th I think so. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, maybe. 
Okay, it probably has something to do with something else. But um, in terms of Canada, I have to say that I have visited a few times and I, in particular, I went to Vancouver. It's probably, it might be just my favorite city I, I've ever visited. So yeah, I really right. enjoy Canada in general. Oh, cool. Thank you. Well, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm in the, I've been in the U.S. a long time, but I still have a fond, fond place for Canada in my heart. Um, any, uh, th this, this time control, you know, you feel good about playing this time control in this event. It's a, it's got the increment, you know, uh, the online generation, you know, we usually play mostly one minute, three minute chess. Uh, how do you feel about the increment? Uh, I think it's, it's an important addition. Um, when I think that it'll be a bit too messy if, there will be no increment, but still, it's very fast. So expect many blunders. Uh, it, it'll be a really fun event. Uh, about blitz in general, like when you so this is an event where you know where you're playing. Presumably, you're doing a little bit of a prep for these guys. Like, can you tell me a little bit about how you approach blitz games versus slow games in terms of like what type of openings you want to go for? I mean, you were playing. Sam Shanklin once told me that any opening with an animal name is bad. So he doesn't like the orangutan, I guess, that you were playing just now. Um, but how do you approach like blitz blitz openings versus versus playing slow games? Yeah, I think the most important thing in, in blitz is to play an opening that um, you know. So you can basically blitz out the first few moves and also have some idea what you're doing uh, later on. And I think that's it's more important than even the objective uh, evaluation of the opening itself that makes yeah that makes that makes a lot of sense um i guess i guess in blitz you feel that pattern recognition is is sort of the and being familiar with the the themes is more important than whether it's like slightly better or slightly worse is what you're trying to say yeah exactly yeah, yeah. cool well um that's it thanks for thanks for the interview and good luck in the tournament we'll uh we'll be rooting for you in the u.s here and uh, I hope it goes well. Thank you very much.